Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We finally found one for the year 2022. This one is the smallest Super C in the entire RV industry that's still giving you that power, that torque, and that towing that you're looking for. This is a 2022 Nexus Rebel 30R with 4x4. Hell yeah. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then... We're gonna give you three things we love about the Rebel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. It is a beautiful day here in Texas and we finally found the unit we've been looking for, the 30R. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going today? It's going good. Hey, I just want to welcome everybody that has just joined our Facebook Club Art Deco. Yes. Welcome, and you can find out a lot of interesting things, and it's a great community for everybody to talk and communicate and everything about camping. Now, Andrea, what is Club Art Deco? Now, Club Art Deco is our Facebook. Yes. That is a way to get in contact with Matt and I. Yes. Or Jen and Will and everybody else. Yes, it's our community, guys. Unfortunately, we cannot friend request uh, all of our community, but on Club Art Deco, we're very active. That's Club Art Deco. Hope to see you guys on Facebook. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Nexus Rebel 30R. The actual tip tip length is 30 feet 11 inches. This is one of the smallest super C's on the planet. And Andrea, look at this chassis. This is the international CV chassis, okay? It's a 350 horsepower. Duramax diesel. The first time we saw this, I called it a Cummins diesel. Andre, it's Duramax. First, I love the headlights. I love the looks. This is very GM inspired. It reminds me of a Denali. You know what I'm saying? Right here, we got a lot of pollen going on. Shout out to, um, what did I take this morning? I heard it. Hey, shout out Clarendon, man. You guys got me all cleared up in about a half hour. But uh, Andre, look what's underneath here. It's the 350 Now that's an engine. Yes, Duramax, very Chevy-like. And Andrea, what's so unique about the Super C, when we turn this on from the inside, you're not gonna hear. It's very quiet, it's crazy. It's no different than driving like a 2500 truck. Wow. Now look how easy that goes up and down, you guys. It's Oh, very easy. It's light. Now you gotta do this thing. Normally you can just close it, but I guess there's like a lock down there. Nope. No, there's nope. definitely a lock. You right here. It? Thanks, Andrea. <laughs> Do you know why? Because well, it's America. Well, yes. But that lock is so on windy days like today, the hood's not gonna fall down if you're working on it. Good point. And it's America. And then right up, up front here, Andrea, look at that. We have a beautiful no seam, seamless fiberglass front cap. That is all one molded piece. I love that. Side window right there. Amazing. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. 225-70R, 19.5. Yes, that's right. Just like a Class A gas motor home with the shiny Alcoa dual bright rims. Mm. Right here's where you fill up your DEF. You got your mirrors right here, Andrea. Coming on inside, you got the nice chrome running board to climb up into the motorhome. 12 year warranty of steel. Look at this nice sand suey TV. Oh man. Uh oh. Oh, I like these doors. Andrea. Pass through a little bit. Okay. Sideways swinging slam latch door. Nexus does listen. Big shout outs, Dave Middleton and the team. Um, who's all my friends there? David Lint. Brian, Mr. Donati. I can't believe I just blame And him. look at this nice power awning with LED lights. Great size. But as I was saying, big shout outs for taking kick and butt. And um, battery bank there. Listening not just to us, but to the community. Right here, Nexus Rebel 1. Paint the color. Do not like this color, but I love the paint job. Uh, and it's nothing wrong with this color, but let's show that black and red one. Bing! Right there. I mean, that paint scheme is a Matt Fox Rock paint scheme. Uh, but uh, all the Nexus, they do have the 12-year structural, six-year lamination. Here's why. A, a steel cage construction, which is 72% stronger than aluminum, which means 72% safer, and 
they do use Asdel, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. And what's crazy is they're not using Asdel just for the exterior wall, they're using it for that interior wall so you won't get that formaldehyde smell. But for them to knock out these sideways swinging doors, this is what we were asking for. See, we got electrical outlet right there. Yes. Four by four water heater with the paint continued. We got the Insta tankless. Yes. Through my hot water heater. More storage with a little bit of pass through. Claude Donati. Claude Donati. Claude. I knew it was one syllable. Did you say Paul? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I knew it was close. Sorry about that, Claude. It must be hard to find keychains for him. <laughs> you know, when he goes on vacation. Coming around the back. Look at that. Bam. If somebody taps you, bumps you, uh, you're going to be a lot safer than if you had some fiberglass. Really nice rear. This hitch is 15,000 pound wow. hitch. Wow. And that is the current hitch. Very nice. In this motorhome, I believe it can tow 15,000 pounds. This is kick button awesome. Don't tow 15,000 pounds without confirming. I know you're good at 10, 12,000, but 15,000 is very impressive. Four by four. Uh, right up there, we got a backup camera, and there is a ladder to get up on the one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we go. Don't blow away. Here we go now. I'm just glad to see some ladders. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right up there is your wine guard digital antenna, and you can see that you do have places for Max Air fans. Okay, hold on. Here we're going now. Two steps, Matt. <laughs> Three. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman is going to adjust the camera? What the heck's going on here? Perfect. And take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. You see like the camera things though? That's probably from when you threw it at me. I didn't throw it at you. <laughs> I dropped it at you. All right. People are going to be like, why are you throwing the camera? Right there. Storage. 50 amp power cord. Okay. We got the other side of the storage here. Yep. Fuel fill up. Yep. Double fill up. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Sugar and spice. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, look at this. Wet bay and everything. Super nice. If you guys are new to the channel, probably wondering why are we so excited about same latch doors sideways swinging this is what they were when they first came out all of them are like that yep and we don't like that right there we don't mind it on this because this is your generator it's a propane 6000 generator and here Andre you know what this is propane yes and all the specs about this motorhome bing right there so everybody who's watching on TV can watch it well Andrea the outside of the Rebel looks great. Again, the red paint job does look better, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Careful. And we need our cargo carrying capacity. Might be on the passenger door. All right, slide is in. Okay, I'm gonna walk up this way. Okay, guys, look at this. Even with the slide in, there's still plenty of space to get through. I'm walking through here. Here's the bathroom. And we can still open the fridge. And you can use the bed with the slide in. All right. 3,484 pounds. Wow. And Andrea, before we get the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes, and you can go with your RV Safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So 
So if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Great, Andrea, look at how much bigger this motorhome is with the slide outs out. Now it's important to remember, this Class C, this Super C is supposed to be small. So with this slide out out, it's still super spacious. Let's get started in this cop. You know what, we're gonna get started up here. Look at what? how big this bunk over the cab is. Is that new? It's huge. But is that something they've always done? Because it doesn't- Absolutely. Really? It's always been big. It's very, very big. You got the padding right here. Look at that, you got a little bit of storage there. Now I heard that they might have been switching to the front windshield. I don't know if that was a rumor or not, but if they do, I mean, with that front windshield, that's gonna be huge. And then you can flip this up out of the way. And then Andrea, let's go into this cockpit area. Nexus. Hell yeah, All brother. Right. Oop, come on down, slide sister. Slide into this? Yep, you're gonna have to slide on There's... down. Oh, wow. Yep, put your foot there. Yes, thank you. All right. Now, Andrea, Ooh. that's what I want you to do. Listen to this. hear that? Wait. That's a international? Yeah. It's literally it's it um it's uh it's the Duramax. It's it's the 350 Duramax. It's literally like being in a, in a Chevy Silverado. I I think a Silverado diesel is still louder than this. Yeah, it's crazy, but what what was so crazy is is that this can still tow so much. Right over here, we got um we got all this music and stuff, all the controls, exhaust brake, auxiliary start, you know what I'm saying? All this good stuff, cup holder here, a little bit of USB action, and then Andrea. Look at that leg room that you have. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The only thing is, is you can't really recline okay. too far back. Okay. But yeah, I do have a lot of leg space and I am pretty comfortable. Yeah. I, I could totally do this. Um, hold on, Matt. Oh. Yeah, oh. no, 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 no air horn. Oh, no air the, horn. A, the AC Ooh, unit blows. Nice. Yes, but the AC blows uh, louder than the air horn. Right here, <laughs> we do got a little mirror, mirror, mirror. Checking me out. Yeah, let's see. The only thing, guys, is you are climbing in and out of oh, here yeah. like it's a jungle gym. Yes, ma'am. We will talk about that feature a little bit later. Let's see you climb out of here. I'm trying to <laughs> athletic, man. I'm Gabby Douglas. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Right over here, we got the living room. So here's your sofa. The traditional brown colors, Andre, you know we don't like that. Um, but what I did here, I heard two things. I heard they're coming out with the front windshield and they are starting to come out with different color choices. Maybe lighter, maybe whiter. I don't know, but we can only go based off of what we see here, which is the same old brown. Right there, we do got cup holders right there. This does jackknife down to make a bed. Very nice big window. Nice privacy blind. I like how it's white. This is a darker motorhome, so that's gonna keep it light in here. And then check out these valances, Andrea. Denied. Oh, denied. Womp womp. Womp womp. What, what you gonna do? All right, here's some storage above here. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I gotta get on my tippy toes. You can do it. Open these. Yes. We've got three of them. Yes. Okay. And over here. We have more storage yes, above the dinette. And right here from where I'm sitting, open that third one, please. Right here from where I'm sitting, I do have a direct shot at the television. Now what is really nice, again, because of how dark the motorhome is, is the two side windows. Like I don't need a 60 inch TV, you know what I'm saying? You're camping. And here's what I will say. One of the most comfortable dinettes, um, the other manufacturers, the other SOBs, some other brands uh they're just putting a little piece of foam on plywood nexus actually designs their dinettes like their cushions um and so they're one of the most comfortable they do drop down to make a bed 
and we do got cup holders here and they even this is the best feature they got storage and it does lock so yes. not only is there handles as you can but see you can lock it as well both size i love that and oh my gosh there was one huge thing i forgot to mention about this motorhome andrea the cockpit area we're not going to go back outside because it's windy now new for 2022 you can now factory order liquid spring suspension on a nexus rebel how exciting is that that is awesome if you guys don't know what liquid spring is we will link our video of will and jen actually test driving a motorhome with liquid spring but what it is it's this compressible liquid that's made for um mo gas motorhomes really and motorhomes like this which is spring suspension and it's going to give you that air ride suspension feel it's amazing i i don't know I, I don't know how to explain in 20 seconds liquid springs but if you guys are considering a purchase of this motorhome or any gas motorhome or any motorhome with with spring suspension make sure you check out our video on liquid springs and liquid springs is expensive so the fact that you can get this factory ordered with it now is absolutely huge and i love that and to top it all off, Andrea, what we didn't mention, if you look over there, this unit does have auto leveling. Very nice. Great. Would you like to show us the kitchen? Yes. Okay, everybody. Okay, so I like this solid surface countertop. Very Beautiful. Pretty. Yep. We have this uh, steam splash guard, whatever, here. We've got a lily pad of power. Hey, that's a lily pad of power. A nice cabinet here. Yes, ma'am. A double sink. Okie dokie. With an extension. Sure. We've got another cabinet here. All right. And I see some LED lights around here. Very nice. Oh, adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And we've got the uh, convection microwave. Interesting. Okay. A three burner propane Dometic cooktop. Good. Okay. And they gave you an oven as well. Very nice. Good size and three drawers guys very nice and it's interesting to see that they did do the backsplash at least i like it over here yeah so all right am i oh the refrigerator what am i doing how can we you got forget a it Dometic refrigerator that is here. such a big residential style refrigerator i love that very nice and let's see we got a pocket door here on the bathroom yes okay 30 by 36 shower we don't love it. We don't hate it. 100, 100 times better than a radius shower. Um, and I can make do with it. You know what I'm saying? All look right. at that storage above there. Yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. One right here. Then we have a nice medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Lots of space here. A little sink. Again with the LED lights. Yes. And a tiny bit of storage there. Man. All right, Matt, let's see. It does look like a porcelain toilet. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Andrea is rolling her eyes like. <laughs> like, I knew it was a prime poop position. All right, going into the master, we have yep. a pocket door, nice entryway here. Yep. Queen look. size bed. Yep. Look at this. Place for CPAP machines on the side, and then look at that storage underneath there. Let's check this out, okay? <laughs> We Big cabinetry above as nice well. Nice storage above, yeah. four cabinets up there. Yep. Reading lights, window. Oh. Is that nope. storage? Tank. Nope. No storage underneath the bed, no problem. And then over here, we do and got a nice wardrobe. wardrobe. Yes, ma'am. TV. No storage there. Other side wardrobe. And we've got six drawers, I believe. Yes. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Six drawers. Nice flush floor right here. Really, really nice unit. Overall, a great unit at a phenomenal price point, which we will tell everybody the MSRP in just a few moments. But first, Andrea, it's time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay. I was hoping you'd do it the other way around. First and foremost, first thing I absolutely love about this unit is the 4x4, four four, the exterior full body paint, which is awesome, and the fact that you can get liquid springs added from the factory. Guys, I don't even think I told you this. Liquid spring, that option is freaking twenty or 30000 I, I don't know the exact number, but the fact that you can actually 
get it into the payment, into the MSRP, is awesome. That's number one. Andrea, number two. Okay, what I like about this is I really like how comfortable the dinette is. Always. Um, you know, it's important to me because you, you do sit here a lot when you're camping. Yeah. And it is very comfortable. It is like sitting on a sofa. It is. So that's my like. Okay, so that's number two. And then Andrea, I, I, I gotta sound like a broken record when, when it comes to Nexus. I like the steel cage construction and the Asdell both on the inside and outside wall. Asdell will make it so the unit won't delaminate on you, but also on the inside, it doesn't smell like formaldehyde. Also, one thing I did forget to mention, two AC units with the metal ductwork inside, built just like a home. Love that feature. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now, it's time for three things we don't like about it. May I go first? Sure. On the outside, where the 50 amp power cord is, um, on a unit of this level at this price point, I just think you should have a 50 amp power cord reel. You know what I'm saying? Good point, I agree. I, you know, no disrespect. I, I would just like the power cord reel. That is number one. Andrea, dislike number two. I gotta say for me, it's the lack of pantry. What? Talk to me. It's really a big deal uh, for me. When we, you know, I, I would love to have a pantry. Yeah. Um, you know, this, I mean, it's, it's adequate space, but that pantry is so important. It so. is what it is, Andrea. And yeah. it's one of those things where this motorhome is trying to accomplish that smaller footprint for a Super C. So I, I get it and I like it and I appreciate it. So that's number two. And then Andrea, number three, behind you. It's not the cockpit area. It is climbing up and down into the cockpit area. It's very, very tough. You almost like slide down when you're going down there and you're almost gonna have to walk out of the motorhome to get back into the motorhome. Okay. If that makes sense. But other than that, Andrea, I love it. It's a great unit. And do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this unit here is $266,284. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, you guys know we can't give a sale price, but here's what I'm looking for. Yeah, here's, okay. Just so everybody knows, a 2023 Nexus Rebel with liquid springs is 293, 250. And again, guys, these MSRPs and these sale prices, they change all the time and they fluctuate all the time. But Andrea, here's what we've done. All you guys gotta do, if you're interested in this Nexus or any Nexus or any RV, all you guys gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click the contact tabs. If you're ready to buy, click tab number one. We're gonna get you with a member of our team to get you a phenomenal price. Or if you're not ready to buy, click tab number two, and we're here to help answer your questions. We're gonna find our dealership partner that's the closest to you, and we're gonna make sure that you get a phenomenal deal. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Nexus, they do watch the videos, and they do read the comments, you guys. Yes. We've seen them change things already. So make sure you leave your feedback. Yes. Don't don't forget about our Facebook Club Art Deco. Yes. If you haven't had a chance to join, join us on there. It's a good way to uh, communicate with Matt and I and also for you guys to talk to each other about everything camping related. And one more big shout out to the team at Nexus. Yes. For implementing some changes already. Guys. Thank you. Without you guys, the RV review crew commenting, they don't know what changes to exactly. make. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're safe and well. Thanks so much. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.